Hello, you are welcome to Sumptuous Teachers channel. Right here in today's video, we'll be treating natural logarithm of negative 1. Alright, now I believe you know that on the set of real numbers, the logarithm of a negative number doesn't exist. Alright, we don't have such a number in which when we raise, let's say, a base b to the result, we have log of a to base b equal to x where a is negative okay where a is negative then we say x should give us a negative number like i say where a is negative it doesn't it's not possible all right on the set of real numbers now we have a set of numbers greater than the set of real numbers or we have a set of number that contains more elements than the set of real numbers since such value does not exist on the set of real numbers to give us a negative a could it exist on another set that contains more elements than the set of real numbers, which is actually a set of complex numbers? All right, let's just check it out. If we can find this, the natural logarithm of negative 1. Okay, I hope you know this can be rewritten as log to base e. That's just the link of negative 1. Now, let's say that this is x. It actually has a value. Let's go on with that, right? We believe it doesn't have a value on the set of real numbers. So let's go on as a contradiction that it actually has a value, x. But we have not assigned the set in which x belongs, whether a set of real numbers or, not, or complex numbers. Okay. Now, this simply means that e to the x is equal to negative 1. Very nice. Okay. Let's consider this negative 1 in a different way. I want to have negative 1 in this form. It is very possible. Now, in your complex numbers, we want to represent your complex numbers in a, the modulo and the argument form, or the polar form. We have it to be cosine of theta plus i sine of theta. We have r out here. With the theta right there is the argument, and r is the modulo. OK. And I want you to know this identity that negative 1 is actually equal to cosine of pi plus i sine pi, where r is 1. Cosine pi is just negative 1, and sine pi is 0. So i times 0 is 0 right there. We have negative 1, where r is just 1. So this is identical. Negative 1 is the same thing as saying cosine pi plus i sine pi. All right? And having known that, we can also write that in Euler's form, which has it to be e times e raised to power i pi. So i now is the complex, the complex number itself, and pi right there is just uh, the argument we get from expressing negative 1 in the polar form. So that means negative 1 is the same thing as e to the i pi. So in place of negative 1 right here, I can just put e to the i pi here. So that means actually possible to express negative 1 in terms of e. Great. So right there, I will continue with my equation. It's equal to e to the i pi. What do you think? If I take the lean on, on both sides, we just take lean on this. Lean right here and lean right here. Learning that lean is just log to base e. It simply means log to base e of e to the x. You know, we can just take this e back right here, this x back right here, and we have lean of e. It's the same thing as saying, right here, we can just take i pi backward, and we have lean of e. And you know, this is actually e in black. Okay, and you know, lean e gets to 1, lean e gets to 1, therefore we have x is equals to i pi. And you know, our x was said to be that value in contradiction to what we believe. Therefore, we can have the log of negative 1 to base e, which is actually the same thing as lean e is equal to i pi. All right. Now, i pi here with the notation i does not belong to the set of real numbers. Therefore, it belongs to the set of complex numbers. So we can actually find the lean of negative number okay thanks for watching please subscribe to this channel